Day one of San Francisco's Carnival Festival is officially in the books. Yeah, thousands of people out on the mission today, despite some gloomy weather, to soak it all in. This year's Carnival brings together people from 18 separate Latin American and Caribbean countries. That diversity reflected not only in the faces around the festival, but in the food and the art and the dancing and music behind it all. And most people think you're, we're Mexicans, but it brings the Brazilians, our Argentinians, Cubans, Puerto Ricans. It brings harmony and educates people about the different roots of our culture as Latinos. It's just like your family out here, you know, it's just hanging out and meeting people out here. It's, it's fun. The big turnout translates into a lot of hungry people in the mission once the festival is over. Kelsey Thor had spent the day at a local taqueria feasting on the boost in business. Chelsea Torres has been working at La Taqueria in the mission for a few years now and says every year Carnival brings in massive crowds. The line will be down the street around the corner sometimes or it will go down the street, it'll turn right back up and we're just working all day. La Taqueria is well known in the mission. It's not uncommon to see lines out the door like today. But they say even for them, when it comes to the number of tacos they sell a day, Carnival is on a whole other level. Just estimating here, maybe like well over the 2000s probably. Chelsea says while that workload may be daunting, their staff loves being a part of the festival every year. Gracias. You know, it's like you get to see the whole ambiance of people coming out to see the parade and everything that's going on. You know, people, tourists, a lot of tourists come over. You get to learn about people and where they come from and why they came, you know. It's, it's very nice. The other nice thing is the boost in business those tourists and spectators bring to the mission. Chelsea says it's been especially helpful to so many who really struggled during the pandemic. After COVID, you know, um, there were a lot of areas and businesses that had to shut down, unfortunately. I think we're very grateful that people still like to um, have these uh, events here and that people still come and support all our businesses because, I mean, you know, just community. It's very nice. For Chelsea, she'll be back here bright and early Sunday to help open the shop for Carnival. She's expecting it to be a long day, but one filled with a lot of fun and also a few thousand tacos. Are you prepared for a lot of customers tomorrow? Absolutely. <laughs> And breakfast tacos are probably more in line with tomorrow's festivities if you're planning on heading down to the mission to watch the start of the parade. Here's a look at the parade route. Things get going at 930 in the morning on Bryant and 24th Street, then heads down to Mission Street and moves to 15th Street and ending on Harrison. Meanwhile, Harrison Street from 16th to 24th will be closed until Monday morning, as well as Treat Avenue from 16th and 22nd.